what's going on everybody? My name is Zell Prince. Welcome back to yet another reaction video. Now, I just finished reacting to the back rooms, and since I was in the area of creepiness on the YouTube on the YouTube channel, I figured why not continue it with one last re scary video for today. So we're gonna be reacting to some more nukes top five. I don't react to them much on this channel because of low view views on this channel, but I just do it because I want to, and I've been watching a lot of paranormal videos for like the last few days. So, I want him to get back into it and react to some more news top five. And Luna's here again, by the way. This is because I just. This is the videos, I'm literally recording them minutes apart. So she's still here. She's still here, I don't know. So, I say we continue with scariness. So, we're going to react to top 10 scary videos to ruin your sleep time. And this was just uploaded two days ago. So, this is very recent, very new. And hopefully very paranormal. I, I want to go to a um, haunted house one day. Somewhere down the line. Maybe a few years from now. I do want to go to a haunted place. Either Clinton Road or just some haunted house that I could find somewhere. Here, either in New York or New Jersey. I'll have to take a look. I'll have to do my research. So that being said, guys. We're, I'm not going to waste any more time talking about my own wishes for paranormal activity in my lifetime. I will now... Actually, lower this a little bit because it's very loud. Well, my headphones are very loud. And we're going to go ahead and react to this in three, two, one. What do you got for me, Nuke? Top 10 ghosts caught on camera. Lurking in. I still have a little story to share with because this happened a few months ago. I'll share it at the end of the video. The woods. Justin Fender's TikTok account is dedicated to cars, bikes, do-it-yourself projects, and his family. Absolutely nothing paranormal or supernatural. However, three months ago, Justin bought himself a 2002 Nissan Xterra and filmed himself as he installed brand new reverse lights. Today, I'm putting some rear LED lights on my Nissan Xterra. These are the flush mount LEDs I bought off of eBay. They're pretty cheap. The lights are installed. I'm gonna take them back out and paint the bumper. So one of Justin's viewers asks how well the reverse lights work at night. And Justin drives out into the dark woods near a lake in North Carolina to show just how bright the lights are. His TikTok viewers are, are shocked when the reverse lights illuminate something downright chilling. The lights are definitely functional, but unfortunately I live in a city and there are street lights everywhere. But I can find a place to go test them. Okay, I found some really dark woods. I just put some tin foil over the reverse lights. So I'm gonna show you what the stock reverse lights look like and then I'm gonna uncover them and show you what the added reverse lights look like. These are the stock reverse lights. Literally can't see anything. And these are the ones I just installed. Oh wow, that's a lot brighter. Look how friggin' bright that is. This is amazing. Yeah, so these, are not just for looks. Did you see it? Wait, what was that? I think Justin I saw it. Turns on the lights. An arm wrapped around oh, the tree. No, I did not see that. I think I saw something else. Out of sight. After many comments from freaked out viewers, Justin finally sees the arm and decides to go back to investigate during the day. But he went back. Okay, I'm leaving work. Two blocks that way is where the arm was. Okay, this road goes down to the lake, which is right there in a public boat landing. This is where my truck was backed in. Well, it's actually a path, and that is the tree with the stick leaned up against it. As you can see, people illegally dump stuff out here all the time. Mostly trash, but a lot of animal carcasses too. Yeah. And this is the tree. Yeah, that's the tree. Here we are behind the tree to where my exterior was back in. I'm about 5'10". I'm not a very superstitious person, so you're not gonna get much out of me. I just think, you know, if anything, you know, somebody back here. Now, even after all of that, Justin still believes the arm simply could have belonged to someone that happened to be out in the dark woods. But what do you think? Could it be a creature, a ghost, or perhaps even creepier? Is it just someone hiding in the- Maybe it's just been somebody 
that was there that night and just walked, just didn't walk away because they didn't know who was out there. The dark woods. Let me know down in the comments. Cries from beyond. This next video was sent in by Nuke's top five viewer, Peter Canova. Peter explains in his email that his friend was remodeling a house in Des Moines, Iowa that had been abandoned for over 10 years. Peter's friend shared a chilling video that was recorded by a tile installer named Javier. Estoy aquí en la casa de remodelación. Este acabo de rellenar, hicimos ese shower y esto. Y desde hace rato vengo escuchando un, un llanto como de niño. Looking at the mirror. Pero el pedo es de que aquí en la casa esta. Whoa, oh, wait, go back. Pero el pedo es de que aquí en la casa esta. I didn't see anything. No hay están están todos los cuartos vacíos. Y me da miedo ir al basement, pero Verga, ver, deja deja checar. Porque ya afuera no hay nada. I didn't see anything. Right, that, that sound went off. Oh god, you're going to the basement, man. Don't go in the basement. Okay, I heard it. I heard it that time. Hola. I don't like that. No, not for me. Is there a darker room? Wait, no mames. No mames. The loud cries of a child can be heard coming from the basement. Javier checks every room but finds no one. Suddenly, there's an unexplained loud bang from somewhere, and Javier makes a run for it. Javier refuses to ever return to the house again. Wait, no mames. Yeah. Not for me. Not for Before me. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top. I, th I heard a sound when he was showing the early stages of him showing up the house, and I thought there was a shadow figure. Going off of that cue. So I started looking around to see if there was anything. I didn't see any kind of mass or anything retreating out of the camera's view. So that was not something I heard. Top five. Contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Oh dear. Terence Leonio from Windsor, Ontario, Canada often goes out into the woods to record himself overtone singing for TikTok and YouTube. One day he decides to stream live, and as he starts to sing, he seems to capture the attention of a passing deer. Pretty sure he was looking for where the sound was coming from, but I stopped and started talking and now he's confused. All right. Oh. Is that a deer in the background that we saw? Uh, dude, there's a black mass moving in the background. Oh, wait, and there's is that... the deer, but did he you see alone. it? Terrence no, it... seems to have caught the attention of something else lurking in the woods. Yeah, that's a person right there. Several strange, slim figures oh, seem there's to be two hiding in the trees. I only saw one. The deer. Terrence's TikTok viewers believe the mysterious creatures could be cryptids, Sasquatch, or even skinwalkers. But what do you think Terence's singing could have summoned from the deep Canadian woods? A doorway. This next bizarre clip comes from a small YouTube channel that is not even necessarily dedicated to ghost hunting or the supernatural. Partners Rain and Jeno post random videos to their personal channel 
Sinister RP. These videos range from art and music to their own personal passion, which is exploring haunted places. Now, Rain and Geno do not claim that they are, quote, professional ghost hunters. In fact, they are a bit skeptical themselves, and they even invite their viewers to debunk any paranormal evidence that they find. When we go out, we don't always find the craziest stuff. I mean, let us know. I mean, let us know what you think, you know what I mean? Uh, by all means, if we can debunk this, I would love to be able to, and if we can't, I mean, I'd love that even more. But there is one video in particular that even the couple and their YouTube viewers cannot explain. First, the couple captures some odd sounds in this abandoned farmhouse. This time, we ended up uh, capturing something else, something really weird. You heard a squeak, I was... Uh, no, I heard a... Why is it so potato quality? It's my quality hat. Oh. Not much else happens, but then, by accident, the couple captures this. What'd you capture? see anything. Did you see it? No. Some dark humanoid shape seems to appear near the door and no. then quickly moves away and disappears into nothing. Rain and Geno try to debunk the figure and even invite their audience to do the same. Now, of course, uh, the first thing that's running through my head is, mm, that might be one of her shadows, but... And that's what's still been going through my head, but I don't know. You know, everybody else now is saying... Not that's not your shadow. That has its own movement to it. And and if you watch, I move and it stays still, and then it moves and disappears. But there is just no rational explanation. So, what do you think? Check out this full video over on the YouTube channel, Sinister RP. Urban exploration okay. gone wrong. How does an urban exploration? Any person. How does an exploration go wrong? Well, I guess I'm about to find out. I can't set my eye. Head to my Albany, eye. New York, to see the old Tobin's First Prize Center, which is a meatpacking <clears throat> facility that was built in 1924 and was later left completely abandoned. Together with his two friends, he makes his way through the massive old crumbling factory, and he discovers something truly unnerving because they might not be the only ones there. This is the fun part. Oh no, don't go down those stairs, man. Far too decrepit. So this is where things kind of got a little weird. We were coming down these staircases and I shined my flashlight to the left and out of the corner of my eye, all I could see was someone in a black trench coat quickly rush over through the door and hide in the corner. I saw hands. I saw hands. I shined my flashlight down the elevator shaft that was right next to me, and all of a sudden, we all started hearing a bunch of voices and just people that were inside of the walls. We just decided to get out there pretty quickly and, and let them be. A man who seems to be wearing a dark trench coat quickly disappears out of sight. Then the group hears voices coming from the walls all around them. Spooked by the creepy event, they decide to just get out of there. Now, whether what they caught is paranormal, I'm not sure. <laughs> that but that wasn't paranormal. Before, we could see their we could see their hands and face right away. That's not paranormal. Real people are much more frightening. Anyway. You can watch the entire exploration of this creepy abandoned factory over on the YouTube channel, Andy Persons. Through the Looking Glass. Late one night, TikTok user Apple DeCastro decides to weigh herself on a scale in her family home in the Philippines. She stands in front of a mirror, and what happens next is truly bizarre. Wait, she recorded herself? <laughs> 
Reflection doesn't move. What are you looking at? Oh, this was recently. This was last month. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that right away. watching yeah that's not a compression glitch because he runs right over Joshua can't believe what he's seeing and he quickly goes to warn his sister together they check the footage recorded by their CCTV cameras and post their creepy experience to TikTok. so could this be a glitch in the matrix a haunted mirror or just a really, really strange camera glitch. As always, I leave it to you to decide. No, because half the time, because half the time it doesn't even move when she's standing in front of the camera. When she keeps moving, the reflection doesn't move at all in some places. As with most Japanese videos, I have no idea what the source is for this next creepy clip. The clip shows two guys approaching an old school building that is under renovation and is allegedly haunted. Even though there's tape at the entrance saying no entry, the two friends step inside anyway. What happens next is absolutely terrifying. No entry. That's scary. Oh, if you're in an abandoned building, you can always find someone, whether it be some homeless person or something paranormal. Most of the time, it's paranormal. There was a building like this one. おい、入ってる。え、初じゃね、空いてたの。空いてたら入るでしょ。もう入ってください<笑><笑><笑> Looking for shadows. Luna is under my feet. I heard you coming, cat. Tosconi. <laughs> A mysterious woman wearing a white dress silently approaches the two friends from the darkness. She seems to have no visible arms. The two guys run in fear and scream for help. What happens next, we'll just never know. And whether the footage I don't know, is real that or seems, not, that seemed a bit staged to me, so. <laughs> As someone who loves looking into paranormal stuff, that was 
that seemed a way too staged for me to believe it being true. But then again, they were moving their lights back and forth, and I didn't really see anything, so... I don't... And my webcam froze! When did it freeze? Hold on. Oh, must have been recently. Hold on, guys. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I don't know when my when my webcam froze. It must have been like a, a f 30 seconds in when I just started petting Luna. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, it's been acting weird for a while. I'm gonna get a better one in the future. Well, at least one that's a little bit higher quality and I can keep control of. But. Yeah, sorry about that. Let me rewind it for a few seconds. And from the darkness, she seems to have no visible arms. The two guys run in fear and scream for help. What happens next, we'll just never know. And whether the footage is real or not, that's up for you yeah. to decide. Either like I said, it seems staged. Way, the clip is chilling. Night shift. This next spooky video was sent in by Nuke's Top 5 viewer Zoe from Perth, Australia. Zoe says that she's a registered nurse working the night shift at a nursing home. She says that there is one particular room in the nursing home that gives the entire staff the creeps. The staff says that they feel watched while in the room and that the room often feels extremely cold for no reason. Some have even witnessed chairs moving around by themselves. One night, Zoe and the rest of the staff are gathered in the office when they notice something very strange on the CCTV. What, this room? The lounge area? Goes off. I'm looking for... I guess that was what I was looking for. Wait. The lights in the room start to flicker and dim in a bizarre pattern, and then some dark shape seems to pass in front of the camera, not once, but twice. <laughs> now could this be something paranormal, or just a strange lighting malfunction? And just what are those two dark shapes? Tell me what you think. Well, I would think it was a video compression glitch, but considering how high the camera is, Cause they're like nine, ten feet or so, like twelve feet off the ground usually. It would be very hard for someone to actually physically walk past the camera. Normally, like that, you would need like a like a not a stepping stool, uh, a scaffold, and keep it out of frame of the camera to make it seem give off that kind of impression but you just keep the scaffold part itself off screen so it doesn't seem like it seems like there's a shadow walking past the screen but that's my input the boy next door paranormal investigators k and l from the youtube channel k and l ghost hunters Wait a second. The <laughs> this is supposed to be top 10 top, top 10 why is there a top 12 uh duke you made a mistake uh, I'm going to leave a comment. Hold on. Hold on, 18, 26. That is the wrong. 18, 28, 26. Nuke. You. So why is is there a top twelve question? Where's the question mark? Mark and smiley face. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Paranormal investigators. I had to point that out. I noticed that right away. Channel K and L Ghost Hunters spend the night at the historic Red Lion <laughs> Hotel move, in Colchester, England. Built way back in 1465, it's no surprise that the hotel has a long history of tragic that made, that events made my day. and paranormal activity. That made my day. Just to give one example, several hundred years ago, a horrible fire ravaged the hotel and took the lives of several young children. 
These days, it's said that the spirit of a young boy wanders the restaurant of the hotel. He is often seen and photographed by guests. Most of all, the spirit of the young boy is often seen by children. K and L leave a static... Oh, kids but that are like four, four and younger, usually, have a higher chance of seeing uh, paranormal activity because they haven't yet... Uh, I don't know, I guess grown up enough to no longer be able to see it. Because I used to see shadow figures all the time when I was a kid. And one of the most strangest ones I had ever seen, just so you guys know, this is not going to be a story I'm going to tell you guys at the end of this video. It's just something I vaguely and very vividly remember is when we were driving home from a funeral back when I was like nine or something. I looked up out of the window and I saw a shadowy figure of an of a jumbo jet with the four engines, by the way, flying overhead, no visible colors, and it was close to the ground. That shit scared the hell out of me when I was a kid. Seeing a shadow figure like that, but not a figure, an object. Let me know if anybody has ever had that kind of encounter before where they don't see a shadow person, they see a shadow object imitating some sort of reenactment or something of a um, jet camera to record in the restaurant as they investigate the basement of the hotel later when they check their footage they are shocked by what they've caught what you catch oh apparition A small head about the height of a young child can be seen peeking through the glass windows of one of the restaurant doors. Mm. Paranormal investigators K and L believe that they might have captured the spirit of the young boy that guests claim to have seen over the years. But what do you think this small figure could be? Let me know. Mm. You can watch this entire investigation and many more over on the YouTube channel K and L Ghost Hunters. Dead in the yeah. water. <laughs> See, the 12 was a mistake. <laughs> in another strange video shared to the internet. I'm not going to hold it against you, Nuke. I just figured <laughs> I'd point that out for you before anybody else did. That without a source, someone can be seen taking off their shoes after having walked through a waterfall in Malaysia and discovering small clumps of leeches stuck Ugh. to their feet. And if that isn't horrifying enough, there's something else in this video that's very disturbing. Ew, leech. Ew. Where? Oh, shit, in the waterfall. There's a woman. Did you see it? Yep. Someone or something can be seen sitting on a rock inside the waterfall. Whoever or whatever it is appears to be wearing a white dress and has long dark hair and dark arms. Now, without a source, it's impossible to establish whether this footage is real, fake, or even explainable. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching my upload schedule. It's kind of weird these days, so please hit the subscribe button and the bell so you never miss a video. My Instagram is there, my Twitter is there, and tickety talk. Hopefully, I'll see you back here next time. All right, that was a very good video. Nuke, I think you should get that 12 looked at. <laughs> All right, now this is the part of the video where I mentioned something paranormal that actually kind of happened to me back in October. It's not really a ghost story. It's more like a few small events that happened in a few spam of three nights. Um, it's not really, well, it's scary because it happened right next to me while I was sleeping. It's in the middle of the night when this was happening to me. I didn't really tell anybody else outside of the my family, only my mother. I told this because there used to be some ghosts in this room a long time ago in that closet. Used to be two shadowy figures that used to live in there. They were always talking and everything else, but I wasn't, this was before I was born. So they're long gone. Um, but back in October, I was in the middle of sleeping, and I sleep with headphones on, and they fall off of me in the middle of the night. So, I heard two, a voice 
whispering in my ear. I don't remember what the word said, but one of them at one point said, hello, and, the, and another one said, help me at one point. And he, if you hear somebody whispering in your ear, you're going to wake up right away. And that's what happened to me. This happened three nights in a row. And it just stopped after at one point. But I don't know. It was like the first time I've ever had something truly paranormal happen, like within the vicinity of my face. That scared the living hell out of me. Because you don't want to wake up somebody whispering in your ear. Having somebody actually physically be right there. And it actually got so bad at one point that I had total sleep paralysis when I woke up in the middle, in one, during one of these, these events. I could not move my body at all. I could only move my eyes. I tried actually to get up and f go and slap who was right there in front of me, but I physically could not move. I had total sleep paralysis. I was actually physically trying to move my body, but I couldn't. Well, it was so long ago, though, but I still remember it because it scared the living hell out of me. But I don't know. I figured I'd share that since we're watching scary stuff. And even though it, it, I have no physical evidence to prove it, I have vivid memory of how it went down. One time I had a dream where I had a fist fight with Bloody Mary, but I couldn't hit her because she wasn't physically there, so I tried hitting her through the reflection in the mirror of my dream. That's an old one. That happened like maybe three or four years ago now, that dream. But I don't know. I figured I'd share that with you guys. So you can believe me or not. Whether you, whether you believe me or not is entirely up to you. But let me know how you guys think in the comments section below. And if you guys want me to react to more Nuke in the future, please let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you all in the next video, whatever I record next, because it's probably going to be some uh, recommendations by fans. Uh, and like I say, you guys can also recommend videos on this channel. Recommend, because I'm also going to go back to SCP very soon. And if you guys have a specific SCP that I have not reacted to in the past, let me know in the comment section below. And that's all I really got to say. I subscribe to all this stuff, guys, and I'll see you in the next video I react to. Bye.